In this video, I'm going to compare Intel's Core i7-5930K with the Intel's i5-660K, which is uh, which does not support hyper-threading. It's a quad-core processor in the newer Skylake series, while 5930K is a near earlier Pro Haswell E processor, which has six cores. But I also bring i7-5820K because to me it seems that this it makes more sense for the money you spend i7-5930k is exorbitantly expensive and therefore 5820k will save you some money and it still does not compromise the performance too much so let's take a look at starting from the number of cores we have four cores in i5-660k uh, there are six cores in 5930K and 5820K and both of them support hyper threading which means there can be two hyper threads running for each core. The base clock frequency stands same for i5-660K and 5930K and the max turbo clock frequency is slightly higher for Skylax i5-660K. But in overall, with the higher number of cores and threads, we expect the Haswell E to outperform significantly the 660K. Also, because it supports, uh, it, it has a higher uh, cache memory. We have 15 megabyte of cache memory versus 6 megabyte in the Skylake. So, <coughs> let's take a look at the benchmark score we have 5930 at a very high 13693 and the the 6600k that 7849 you can see this is substantially faster but the point is the 5930K is $594 versus $243 for 660K. You have another option, a decent option is use i7-5820K and paying a decent $396 about $200 lower than the i7-5930K and get a decent performance has a pass mark ranking of th around 13,000 versus 13,693. So, you won't feel substantial degradation in performance from i7-5930 to i7-5820K and you will get still get a very good uh, performance and you save some money on it. If you want to look at other performance, we have we do not have integrated graphics with the Haswell E. We are all, and the reason for this has to do with the TDP rating. It has a 140 watt TDP rating, and if you integrate the graphics into it, it is going to heat even more. So, we have i5 660K with in graphics integrated into it, making it a very <laughs> cheaper alternative in the S Valley, you will have to get a external graphics card which can be cheaper like 60 70 dollars or can be more expensive for gaming another key difference has to do with the memory channels the Haswell E has four memory channels Skylex i5-6600K has two memory channels and that doubles the memory bandwidth which is and that is one reason why Haswell E will give you a better peak performance. Thanks for taking a look.